Hello everybody, if you clicked the link in my Instagram bio to get here, thank you very much. If you're coming from Facebook, Twitter, wherever it's from, I really appreciate it and I hope you learned something about earthquake insurance. So let's dive into this. Something that everybody needs to know, if you do not know this already, earthquakes are not covered under your homeowner's policy. Earthquake policy and homeowner's policy, two entirely different things. So if you are interested in getting an earthquake insurance policy, you have to call up your agent and have them set that up separately. Okay, so the likeliness of an earthquake occurring in California over the next 30 years is increasing every day. And in fact, over the next 30 years, there is virtually a 100% chance that there's going to be an earthquake of 6.7 magnitude or larger, which to put into perspective for you, the earthquake of 1989 in the Bay Area that interfered with the Giants and A's World Series was a 6.9 magnitude, which costed California about $6 billion to recover from. So who should have earthquake insurance? It's something that a lot of people think about. They don't they aren't really sure what it is, what it even exactly covers. So I want you to check out this map really quick. Okay, so if you are in the red area of the map that I just showed you, I highly recommend obtaining an earthquake insurance policy because that is exactly where they are expecting an earthquake to occur in the next 30 years. However, let's say you live in Sacramento, for example, and an earthquake occurring over the next 30 years of a significant size is very unlikely. However, you have a significant amount of equity in your home or even you're losing sleep at night, then an earthquake insurance policy is something you may want to consider because, I mean, I believe it's only, of course, this is just a rough estimation, but it's probably only about $10 a month. And that $10 a month to give you peace of mind can be well worth it, of course, because that's what insurance is all about, is giving you peace of mind. Now let's go back to the red part of the map and you're not going to see the $10 a month for an earthquake policy. The premiums are gonna be a lot more expensive because it's a lot higher risk, unfortunately. I'm gonna throw one quick thing in here as well. I wanna talk about deductibles because I get a lot of questions about that because it's different than a homeowner's policy where you have $1,000, $2,500, $5,000 deductible. It is percentages with an earthquake insurance policy. So you're looking at, let's say, a 15% deductible. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean I have to pay 15% of a $500,000 loss? No. If you have a $500,000 loss, then the reimbursement check that the insurance carrier sends you, they're going to keep 15% of that. So something I also want you to understand is an earthquake insurance policy is not apples to apples with your homeowner's insurance policy. It's a more basic policy. It covers reconstruction of your home. It covers loss of use, which is just uh, providing you somewhere to stay while your home's being rebuilt. It's going to cover personal property, so everything you have in your house up to the limit that you had, for example, um, and building code upgrades. The things that it doesn't cover, uh, a couple quick things are personal liability and personal injury, which are very important. However, in the case of an earthquake, you're not gonna be covered with those, so that's something to consider. Another fun fact, really quick, if your home falls apart during an earthquake and an unintentional fire happens because of that, it is actually covered by your homeowner's policy. So maybe you could luck out with that. However, I wouldn't depend on that. So we're coming toward the end of this video and you might be thinking, Louie, where can I obtain one of these so-called earthquake insurance policies? Well, it's pretty simple. Just give your insurance agent a call. I know that they can help you out. It's not very difficult to uh, get that all set up for you. Uh, if you're interested in the carriers that provide services for earthquake insurance, uh, most of them go through the California Earthquake Authority, which is uh, a very good way to go about it. However, there's other carriers that have their own markets for it, like Aegis, which has a fantastic market. There's Traveler, Stillwater, and many more. 
that concludes my time here with you guys talking about earthquake insurance. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. And as always, shoot me over any other insurance questions and I'll make a video about it. Thank you.